Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about cyberspace news prediction of text and image with report generation. Introduction The project addresses how people are increasingly consuming news in cyberspace due to its low cost, ease of access, and ease of sharing. The propagation of fake news through cyberspace, on the other hand, can have major negative consequences for society and people. As a result, the study develops a methodology for predicting fake news in cyberspace that employs machine learning and natural language processing. If the prediction is incorrect, the model evaluates both text and image streams and provides a report that is instantly redirected to the approved website, Cybercrime Department. The project's goal is to provide people who rely on it with a safe and trustworthy internet experience. Objective The objective of the project is to develop a model for predicting fake news in cyberspace using machine learning techniques and natural language processing. The model processes both text and image streams and generates a report that is immediately redirected to the authorized page cybercrime department if the prediction is false. The aim of the project is to provide a safe and trustworthy cyberspace experience for people who rely on it. Requirements The requirements of the project are hardware requirements and software requirements. In hardware requirements, we have operating system windows only, processor i5 and above, RAM 4GB and above, hard disk 20GB and above. In software requirements, we have Python IDEL with 3.7 version. Methodology To implement this project, we have designed the following modules. The first module is Upload News Dataset. The project starts by uploading a dataset containing news articles along with their labels indicating whether each news piece is fake or genuine. The dataset contains a mixture of both fake and real news articles. This dataset will serve as the basis for training and evaluating the machine learning models. Second module is pre-processed dataset. In this module, the raw news dataset is pre-processed to clean and transform the text data into a suitable format for analysis. Pre-processing steps include removing stop words, special symbols, and other irrelevant characters. Additionally, stemming and lemmatization techniques may be applied to normalize words and reduce them to their root form. The goal is to prepare the text data for feature extraction and model training. Third module is PF-IDF vector generation. After pre-processing, the text data is converted into numerical vectors using the term frequency inverse document frequency TF-IDF algorithm. TF-IDF represents each word in the news articles as a numerical value, capturing both its frequency in the article and its rarity across the entire dataset. This transformation converts the text data into a format suitable for machine learning model to process. Fourth module is run Navibias algorithm. Navibias is a probabilistic machine learning algorithm used for classification tasks. In this module, the pre-processed and TF-IDF transform news dataset is fed into the Navibias algorithm for training and prediction. Navibias calculates the probabilities of each class, fake or real, given the input features and assigns the label with the highest probability to each news article. Fifth module is run logistic regression. Logistic regression is a popular algorithm used for binary classification tasks. In this module, the pre-processed and TF-IDF TF -IDF transformed news dataset is used to train a logistic regression model. The model learns a linear boundary to separate fake and real news articles based on the TF-IDF features. Sixth module is run SVM algorithm. Support Vector Machine is a powerful algorithm for binary classification task. In this module, the pre-processed and TF-IDF transformed news dataset is used to train an SVM model. SVM model aims to find the optimal hyperplane that best separates fake and real news articles in the TF-IDF feature space. Seventh module is run SGD algorithm. Stochastic Gradient Descent SGD is an optimization algorithm commonly used to train machine learning models. In this module, SGD is applied to train a model for fake news prediction using the TF-IDF features. Eighth module is Run Random Forest Algorithm. Random Forest is an ensemble learning technique that combines multiple decision trees to make more accurate predictions. In this module, the pre-processed and TF-IDF transformed news dataset is used to train a random forest model for fake news prediction. Ninth module is comparison graph. 
After training all the machine learning models, Navy BIAS, Logistic Regression, SVM, SGD, and Random Forest, a comparison graph is generated. The graph displays the accuracy achieved by each algorithm on a, co on a common evaluation data set. This graph helps in understanding which algorithm performs better in predicting fake news. Tenth module is Predict Fake Text News. In this module, the trained models Navy BIAS, Logistic Regression, SVM, SGD, and Random Forest are used to predict whether new, unseen text news articles are fake or real. The pre-processed and TF-IDF transformed features of these new articles are fed into the models and each model generates its prediction. 11th module is Predict Fake News, Fake Image News. To analyze image news articles, a visual content analysis algorithm is used. This algorithm examines the visual content of the images associated with the news articles. As fake news images are often duplicates of old original images, the visual content analysis helps identify whether the image used in the news is genuine or fake. Twelfth module is Report Generation. Finally, the project generates a report summarizing the results of the text and image news predictions. The report includes the predictions made by each model, Navy BIAS, Logistic Regression, SVM, SGD, and Random Forest for text news and the visual content analysis results for image news. This report provides insights into the authenticity of news articles, facilitating the detection of fake news in cyberspace. Execution. For the execution of the project, we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder. This is the dataset folder. To implement this project, we have used BuzzFeed fake news content and BuzzFeed real news content. Importing this dataset contains the information of ID, title, text, URL, top image, author, source, published data, movies, images, canonical link, metadata. This is the model folder. This folder contains pickle files stored which contains the algorithm information. These pickle files can be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. This is the main code file. This is run.bat file. Instead of executing our project in the command line interface, we have created windows bat file to execute the project. Double click on run.bat file. A graphical user interface will pop up. Uh, this is the graphical user interface which we have created using Tikenter library in Python. Using this GUI, we will interact with the project. Click on Upload News Dataset to upload the dataset. Select Dataset and Open. So here we can see that the dataset is loaded. Now click on Pre-Process Dataset. In above screen, clean news text loaded and in above text stop words, special words are removed and then applied stemming and lemmatization technique. Now click on TF IDF vector generation to generate vector. So here we can see the total records found in dataset and total features found in dataset and the dataset is split into training and testing where training will be of 80% and testing will be of 20%. Now click on run Navy BIAS algorithm. After training Navy BIAS algorithm, we will get the accuracy of Navy BIAS. Now click on run logistic regression algorithm. After training logistic regression, we will get the accuracy. Now click on run SVM algorithm. After training SVM, we will get the accuracy of SVM. Now click on run SGD algorithm to get its accuracy. So after training SGD, we got its accuracy. Now click on run random forest algorithm. After training random forest, we will get the accuracy of random forest. Now click on comparison graph. So this is the comparison graph. On X axis, we have the algorithm name. And on Y axis, we have the accuracy value. Close the graph. Click on predict fake text news. 
so here we are supposed to type a news so here i'm typing a news called as conjectivities i is rapidly increasing so here we can see the news uh, which i have just typed conjectivities i is rapidly increasing and the given statement is false the truth probability score is this now click on predict fake image news to upload a image and then predict whether it is fake or real so this is the first image i'm uploading open it so here we can see on the top of the image it is written uploaded image detected as false that is this image is a fake image by just by seeing the image we can detect that now let us select another image open so here on the top of the image it is written as uploaded uploaded image detected as true so this is a real image close now we will close the gui and the final conclusion of the project is the investigation concluded that the consumption of news in cyberspace is expanding on a daily basis and it has a substantial impact on individuals and society the propagation of fake news through cyberspace on the other hand can have major negative consequences for society and people As a result the study develops a methodology for predicting fake news in cyberspace that employs machine learning and natural language processing. If the prediction is incorrect the model evaluates both text and image streams and provides a report that is instantly redirected to the approved website cybercrime department. By forwarding phony news to the authorized website the project in intends to significantly minimize the spread of false news and create a safe and trustworthy cyberspace experience for individuals who rely on the internet Thank you for watching video For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.